The recruiting pitch of the possibility of being able to play in a brand new state-of-the-art baseball facility has been used for so long here in Indiana that many former Hoosiers already in the big leagues heard it when they were in high school. I mean, it was just, it was just surreal that it was finally here. Being, uh, hearing rumors when I was being recruited to freshman year that it was in the works and, and seeing the construction being, uh, going underway last year, it was just awesome to see it finally come to fruition. Dream come true, um, especially for me. Um, my story came here in eighth grade with my dad, and he always talked about it. Kind of got us over here from Oxford, and to actually see it be built for not only the baseball team, but you know, being a part of the baseball team, and just for my family, it's awesome. It was a project that was already waiting on the desk of athletic director Fred Glass when he got hired here. It's surreal. It's it's it still seems like we're at like a minor league complex, just renting it out, not really ours yet, but you know, every day, more and more, it seems to be ours. It was extremely exciting. Um, it just tells you something about the IU faithful, and it was 31 degrees outside, windy, 25 wind chill, and, and I look up in the stands and I've never seen that many people in an IU baseball game in one of the worst climates uh, since I've been here. So it was extremely exciting, and that long uh, road, road trip to start the season and finally have the fans on your side was a great feeling. But now, at long last, Bart Kaufman Field is up and running. Definitely the clubhouse and, and hitting facility area it really gives us a home field advantage. Um, when we hit first, we can, we can come in the warmth and, and get some more swings in, and pitchers can kind of keep warm and stretch in the hitting facility and just really gives us a home field advantage. Especially during cold weather games, we have the access to the hitting facility. Um, pinch hitters, guys can stay hot, we can go in and out, guys can just most importantly stay warm. Um, everything's right here, food will be brought in. It just kind of takes your mind off all the other stuff and you can focus on baseball and not worry about anything else. Ladies and gentlemen, Indiana University President Dr. Michael A. McRobbie. Let's have a big round of applause. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, growing up, going to college baseball games and the excitement that comes with playing under the lights, it's, it's truly special. The convenience of you know the locker room with our hitting facility, our athletic training room, and our laundry room, just everything right here, just a place for guys to hang out and get work done. Wearing number Real seven, Dan me. Walsh. <laughs> right fielder's 36, Chad Sedio batting. And I think uh, the first game, I was on third base, and we just had a moment. We were like, wow, like this is it. We had a long time. I believe winning has become engraved in our minds, and it's something that it's like we come off a three-game sweep. Last year, I think we would have hyped it up a little bit more. This year, it's expected, and I think that's the mindset that we've all taken. The Indiana Hoosiers are ranked in the top 25 for the first time in school history. And now they open up their first official home game. It's a culture here that we work late at night, late hours. A lot of guys take study breaks and actually hit. So yeah, I mean, there's going to be guys here all the time. We can go all the way. I know we can go all the way. Um, it's something that we've been dreaming about, all of us, uh, my junior class, since we've been freshmen. And we knew it was possible. And it's uh, great that it's finally happening. At Bart Kaufman Field, I'm Samantha Dalek for This is Indiana.